Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I grew up with a younger brother who was about two and a half years younger than me, so I've been hit a lot in my life. Uh, unofficially, I guess, fighting and wrestling, so I'm really not afraid of that aspect of it. Um, I guess I'm more afraid of making a fool out of myself than anything. Full of sense, come on. Full of sense those legs, come on. Full of sense. One of the things that I'm personally passionate about is fitness and exercise. And we were looking for a way to give back to the local community that kind of embraced our natural passion and excitement for what we do along with something that where the money would actually stay with our clients and the, the communities that we serve. And that's one of the reasons we chose the Long Island Fight for Charity because of the Long Island Community Chest and the, the local organizations where the money would be contributed. Got 30 seconds. Show me what you got. Come on. Punch. Come on. Punch. 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 Well, this year, I think a lot of the boxers started training earlier than usual. I didn't know how to punch or hit at all, so all the technique that goes into the actual boxing, protecting your body, protecting your face, breathing out with every punch, so that's the kind of things that, and then you just drill it and drill it and drill it until it becomes second nature and natural. Seven, come on. Six, five. Four. Hitting a bag for 20 to 30 minutes at a time is a tremendous stress reliever. So to kind of get all those frustrations out before dinner and before bed is, is really awesome. For me, at least I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist. So to get up in front of like 12 to 1500 people in a ring, I want to be prepared. And uh, I guess the number one thing is don't get hit. Rob and Anthony just make it a ton of fun and there's a lot of positive encouragement that we get. There's a lot of energy from the group. Um, so it's an uplifting environment to be in. You guys going to be there? We're being informed. Uh, oh cool, can you tell me what to do? Yeah, and... right. I'm going to go through all the preparations for. Boxing is really a finesse sport. I mean, I, I tell everybody that comes in here that wants to compete or work out, the name of the sport is boxing. It's not fighting. So when you learn how to box, and you could um, outmaneuver a bigger, strong opponent. Um, that's where the finesse comes in. That's why they call it the sweet science. Charity is a great way to um, help out the community and uh, you know feel good about yourself. So we've been involved with the uh, the fight for charity since its original days. The master motivator is which I've been named. Being a champion and being around for so long, fighting for the United States Army. I learned a lot of things from different fighters from all over the United States. You know. We're doing a lot of things that are unorthodox, you know, the things that you won't see in other gyms, you know. I'm working with a medicine ball, but not the same way that you see other people do. I work with weights, I do a lot of isometrics. You're going to get a lot of cardio and a lot of legs. My opponent's over there, boom! I'm over there, I'm ready to fight and attack. My opponent's over there, boom! I'm ready to fight and attack. The easiest way not to get hurt is to be on an angle, which makes my body smaller. I'd be on an angle, I would keep my chin down, and I would stay tucked. Already that makes it a little bit harder for me to get hurt. There's a lot of women in the training, and there's a lot of women in the, in the group boxing classes. Um, but I think uh, Layla Ali is a prime example. She's extremely feminine, but she's strong and she's independent. Um, and I think that's kind of a, a great way to describe boxers. It's, a, it's a really an individual sport and you have to be strong and have a sense of self-confidence and I think that translates into your day-to-day -day life. So it's a, it's a great sport for women. The main achievement that we're looking for is just to raise awareness of the entire charity and the event itself and to get a lot of people excited about it. Um, so the fundraising aspect is a, is a big deal and a big focus, but it's really just to have a good time. Um, to put on a good show for the audience, you know, a good fight, a fair fight, and uh, to have a lot of fun. Yeah.